What's the deal, family? Welcome back to another episode of Sips of Success Podcast. I am Cameron, and this is my beautiful wife, Erin. What's going on, babe? Hello. Um, what are we sipping on? We have um, a super <laughs> makeshift <laughs> mocktail. Oh. This is talent, raspberry talenti? Yeah. Yeah, it's like sherbet or sorbet. 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 Um, and it's just topped with sparkling coconut water, so no champagne. Um, but you know, a little yeah, sparkling, cute, a little sparkling situation. The the sorbet really adds to it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure about this sip. I don't think I taste. No I don't know how raspberry. successful this sip is. Yeah. <laughs> we probably need a little more ice cream and a little less. Audi was joining us, but Coconut it looks like water. she's about to get down. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Okay. So, this or that, because last week we forgot the this or that. This or that. Would you rather have free clothes for the rest of your life or free groceries? Free groceries. Really? Yeah. Why? We buy groceries way more than we buy clothes. It's not even close. But would you buy clothes more if you... And it could be any type of clothes, like any designer brand, any anything. I don't think I care about it, about that that much. Yeah. So I'm so going to yeah. Okay. I would say free groceries too. I feel like that's just way more responsible and practical and inflation is just insane. Like the yeah. amount of money we spend on groceries for just the two of us plus the dog is insane. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, we probably could be a little bit more like... I don't know, refined with our grocery shopping process, but we like who we like though. Yeah. I mean that's true. Yeah. So, um groceries. but also today is Mother's Day. Yes, happy Mother's Day to I guess the Aaron's first unofficial but official. I know. Literally Mother's everyone's Day. been telling me happy Mother's Day and I'm like, yeah. thanks. <laughs> but it's also kind of funny because I'm like, I mean, I guess being a mother to be does constitute you as a no, mother it counts. in I, some I, way. Also, like what uh, Pastor Tim was saying, like he included all women. Like whether you desire to be a mom or if you if you aren't a mom, um, you've been probably a mom, a mother figure to someone. Or if you know you're not married yet, but you know that's something you desire, like a mom to be. As mm -hmm. your as he says, your Boaz comes to scoop you off your feet. Right. <laughs> um, so, um, you know. If that's something you want out of life, you know, you, you'll be a mom someday. Um, and Or if you're currently trying to have a baby, you know, yeah. um, just kind of like the mindset that I will be a mother. So. Yeah, like believing, yeah. walking in belief. Yeah, so happy yeah. Mother's Day to everybody. Our happy moms for Mother's sure. Day. Our grandmothers, our aunts. Yeah, it was um, kind of crazy because this morning I had a little meltdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I could not find anything to wear. And I was just like, oh, my she, God. I got out of the shower and she literally burst out crying. I was, I was like, literally sobbing. I was like, what is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> you just asked me a question. Like, before I got in the shower, I get out. And then <sighs> she's like, I'm in the, I think it was out in the closet. I was already in the closet, I think, putting on my shirt or something. And she's like, she's just, I heard a whimper, I guess. <laughs> I'm like, what's wrong? And then she really oh, started crying. I was like, oh, I was God. like, I can't wear anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay. <sighs> so Cameron took me to the mall after church. Yeah, we went to church. I didn't tell her I was going to take her. I just, you know, was like, well, she was on, on the phone with her mom and she thought we I were going we to go there. Go I was like, there. no, we're about to go somewhere. <laughs> like, yeah. We're going to go get you some clothes. Yeah. So, so you don't do that again. We went and actually spent. Thousand dollars on clothes. <laughs> well, he said I could get what I wanted, so that's what I did. I tell you one thing: they say baby is expensive when they get here. The baby is expensive, and she ain't here. Yeah, she's not even here yet. Yeah, so um, yeah, so but all is well. I but got yeah, you some know, cute stuff. You got some cute stuff. I uh, I just wasn't about to go through the whole. Uh, I don't have anything to wear, and like Aaron, she she's said this to herself for the past. I don't know. <laughs> Two months, but she won't go buy clothes. Well, or I she'll, did no. buy some stuff, but not anything that I could wear to church. Well, yeah, that too. But <laughs> like, I, I got like leggings and body suits. But you like and buy, like, like you that. buy, yeah, you buy stuff to go to the gym. No, or to lounge or like around. to lounge in. Yeah, yeah. I need like real clothes. Yeah, and you won't do that, or you, or you'll think about it, and then you have like a cart full of, and all your 
Yeah, and then everything tags. I want ends up being sold out by the time I go to check yeah, out. Yeah, so then she just never buys anything. So today I <laughs> put a fork in that. Yeah, <laughs> so. so that was fun. Um, but yeah, happy Mother's Day to everyone. Yeah, it's so crazy because I'll be a mom like officially, like she'll be here. In a few more months. Next year for Mother's Day. Yeah. So that'll be fun. So baby girl on episode whatever for that Mother's Day. I know. Day. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, okay. So last week we had fun with the questions. And you guys really enjoyed the episode. And actually we did too. Yeah. Um, and we decided to do some more l- questions, but like a little bit more lighthearted. So the first question is, what is your pet peeve or like of mine like what is something that I do that just irks you and then or it could be something that just is maybe it's not as deep as a pet peeve but it's just like uh like we we we're never on time (laughs) never (laughs) do I have to take a smile on that (laughs) babe but sometimes we be waiting on you too no, Aaron. We like, never... you can't find your wallet. Aaron, no. This is her excuse to say, well, I've been sitting downstairs just chilling. My wallet is just simply on my nightstand. It takes me two seconds to get my wallet if I don't already have it with me. So, no. Yeah, we're never on time. That's mine. What's yours? We're not never on time. We were on time yesterday for dinner. We were early. To what dinner? When we went to Cooper's Hawk. Yeah, but so we literally... <laughs> We literally lounged around the house all day. Aaron's like, oh, they have a, a reservation. This is, mind you, this is at like seven o'clock. She's like, oh, they have a reser- reservation at 8 30. We're not doing anything special. She's not, she's not putting on makeup. She's not preparing at all. She's not going to eat before we leave out the door, grab her water jug, her all these, <laughs> like, go use the bathroom. Like, this whole checklist of things. Well, now it's worse because I'm pregnant. Even before she's pregnant. And it pregnant, takes me longer to put my shoes time. and stuff on now. Yeah, I give her grace in that area, but this then it still was the same before she was pregnant. So yeah, we never. Okay, well, we can't get out the house on a in a good amount of time ever. Yeah, well, I mean, Babe, that's definitely no something I need to work on. It is. It it really is. I really want to be that girl who can get somewhere that's and I'm like ten minutes early. It's not. It's not. I that. literally, if the GPS says you'll be there in seven minutes, and it and something starts at eight o'clock, I'm leaving at seven fifty three. Probably seven fifty five. Honestly. Yeah. Like I don't know what it is. Like I wouldn't. I won't leave at like seven forty five to give myself an extra pad time of like five to seven minutes. I don't know why. Um, but that's just. I don't know. That's just how I am. I really got to get better at that though. So, okay. That's I okay. just, now it's kind of like, you know, the baby is coming. Yeah. And, I just, and now we really got it because it's really going to be yeah. more of a task. And, to get and out the Aaron house. literally told me, this is, I said to her like a couple of weeks ago, I was like, yeah, I'll probably be walking the dog in the morning, getting the baby together, and then just allowing you to just <laughs> do whatever you do. But you know what? Because I feel like, because you said, no, I'm going to get the baby together. I was like, we will see. Well, you know what's funny is I used to be really, really slow when I was a kid. Like, slow in terms of getting ready and I would get in that was like the one thing I would get in trouble for like my dad the one time I got a spanking from him (laughs) a whooping (laughs) y'all my parents were like can you stop talking about (laughs) this on the podcast (laughs) well here we are um I was literally improbably I don't even know how old I was in grade school and my dad, he didn't whoop us. Like, he had girls. So it wasn't like he was just, like, spanking us all the time. But I was always so slow to get dressed. And it's funny because my aunt bought me these turtle house shoes. I will never forget. They were, like, huge turtles because she was like, you're just so slow. And I was like, okay, girl. But I was getting dressed, and I, I had to use the bathroom. And my dad was like, Aaron, you're just taking too long get down here. Like, we need to go. Like, you need to get to school. And he was like, I was take, still taking forever. So he was like, you know what? That's enough. Like, I'm, you about to get it. So <laughs> I was like, daddy, please. No, I got to use the bathroom. And then he was like, no, you don't. You're just saying that because you don't 
<laughs> you take it forever. Like, you don't want to get in trouble. And I was like, no, I seriously got to go. And then I peed on myself while he was spanking me. So then we really got set back because I had to get back in the shower. I had to change clothes. Oh, it was horrible. Um, so yeah, that's been a thing for my that entire really life. That did not work. That spanking was not... <laughs> not effective. Yeah, not at all. Not effective. So yeah, that's something maybe I'll, you know, I should try to fix that soon. <laughs> Um, I okay. think you already said in your way. What's your pet peeve? My pet peeve is, this is very petty. Um, mm. Like, this is a very, like, petty pet peeve. But, like, Cameron, when he puts the dishes up from the dishwasher, uh -huh. he doesn't put them upright. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I appreciate when he puts them up. But like, for example, we have these stackable bowls. <laughs> I think it's just that. I don't know why I knew you were about to say that. <laughs> these stackable bowls. All the bowls, like they're constant, like they're consecutively bigger. Like there's one small one, one medium, one larger, <laughs> one extra large bowl. And so he'll sit like the large bowl on top of the medium bowl, the small bowl in like he doesn't just stack them so they're nicely stacked. Or like even... the Tupperware. He sometimes he just won't even put the Tupperware up. He just leaves the Tupperware on the counter outside of the Tupperware cabinet. I'm like, why didn't he put this part up? Now the Tupperware I just probably forget because it's like I'm putting up there. I kind of <laughs> set that over there because it's at the top of the dishwasher. But I'm not even making an excuse. My theory with the bowls are Or the strainers. You do that with the strainers too. You don't put the... But we my, have two strainers. One is small, one is big. But, he always puts the big one on top of the small one. Here's my theory, though. Here's my theory. We always use them. Like, it's never... I feel like I have to have all of them in there at the same time in order for me to, like, put them in order. But they're never in there at the same time. So I'm like, whatever. When I get the next one, I'll then put it under. But it never happens because we use it every two and seconds. And you also just never do that. That's what I'm saying. Because we never... It never... <laughs> Babe, it's, it's, no. One is always dirty. No. Oh my gosh. Yes. But yes, like little <laughs> stuff like that, like I'll just be like, babe. But it's not big enough of a pet peeve for me to actually really say anything. Do you feel you like- You do say something. You say something every time. Not every time, babe. Babe, yes. If I said something every time- <laughs> You say something every time. No, I do not. You be like, babe, all the way upstairs. No, I don't. <laughs> I was like, what? I do not do that, but I just, it's irritating. Um, I was going to say something. Do you feel like there are certain things that are worth not talking about? Like, worth not, just kind of like, I'll just eat this, like whatever. It's just- I don't really care. Or is that or do you feel like everything has to be vocalized? Um yes and no, I guess. I feel like you the on time thing, I do vocalize that too. Yeah, I'm like, you come do. on, like like sometimes like some things like we don't have to be on time for, but like like even for like church, like you know that we're going to church on Sunday. Like I need you to be ready to leave no later than eleven forty five. Right. Because it takes you mean 1045. I mean 1045. You know what I'm saying? Like I need you to be like you at you're getting in the car. Not I'm coming downstairs at 1045 because it still takes you to do your checklist another five minutes. <laughs> so maybe by like 1040-ish, you're like, I'm finishing downstairs. my last checklist part. Well, there's grab your water jug or something like that. But other than that, no, I feel like some things like some people, some things like you do all the time that it's never gonna stop. So it's no point in me keep talking about well, like it. burping oh yeah you burp like there's nothing i can do about that so okay yeah i, I just feel like certain things are just never gonna end yeah that's true okay next question if you could only keep three apps on your phone which ones would you choose are these the apps that are are these apps just like not like, the ones that come on your phone oh, the but like ones that you, ones that you download by choice hmm can you? Can I look at my phone? I mean, I guess. I don't even know what I use the most. Um, I would keep the like sports app because okay. I like to look at the scores. Wow. Okay, so that's one. Um, this is tough. The Shopify app because I do all the orders. <sighs> and probably probably our main banking app. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would go banking. Um, 
That's that's three is crazy. Yeah. Like three is like that's tough. I mean, good thing the weather app come, but you don't even trust the weather app. I don't even use the the app. Uh, yeah, I don't use this. I would yet. say probably banking, YouTube, and. Dang, I ain't even think about the social media parts, but mm-hmm. I but I can get on my and computer. Spotify, just because I like. To oh to yeah, music. dang, that's yeah, I, yeah, you're right. Spotify, I'm at the knock off. Uh, <laughs> The sports. <laughs> I'm at the knockout the sports. You can Google that. <laughs> yeah. I'm at the knockout the sports for sure. I'm at the use Safari or Google Chrome. Yeah. Or you can't I can't use Google Chrome because that's downloading on the uh, Yeah. So Safari. But yeah. Spotify for sure. Yeah. I'm like sports dang. is gone. That's why I said you that really was that was sports. like low key tough. Oh, yeah, that one was pretty yeah. tough. Okay. What's the most unusual thing that you like about me? Unusual? Yeah. What's the definition like what's of weird? Like, what's something strange that like you're like, oh, I like that about her. I know it's kind of hard, but think <laughs> strange, <laughs> or maybe not strange, but like something most people maybe don't know about me, or like a characteristic that I have that maybe I only share to you. Dang, I feel like this is bad. That, but it's something like weird. I guess I don't know. Weird that you do. That someone else doesn't Yeah, like, know? do you love when I burp? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> nah. That's the only thing. I'm like, that's something that I would think about, but I don't love that. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, yeah. I, wow. Yeah, I don't, I, don't have, I don't have nothing for you. Do you have something? I'm trying to think. Something strange. How did you come up with this question? It was a question on the list. Oh. Uh, strange What's is hard. the most unusual thing you like about me? Unusual. Strange. Weird. Babe, that's tough. Like, do you like how I eat my food or... Nope. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, God. Why you don't like how I eat my food? Do I be... You say I smack sometimes. You, yeah, you eat But loud. I don't smack all the... I don't... No, not like smack, but you eat loud. loud. You like... <laughs> Like it's like annoying. It's just... <laughs> now she's snorting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <sighs> um okay. Well that's knocked off. Um what else? Unusual things. I mean, I, I like, like I like a lot of things about you, but I feel like the unusual things, like I feel like the answer would have to be that I like your burping or something like that, which I don't. So <laughs> <laughs> that's like your worst. That's my worst characteristic. Yes. <laughs> that's my biggest flaw. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I could have I could have backed out. She did she waited to burp like the day I proposed. And I was like, yo, what the heck just came out of your mouth? Like oh. she belches, not burp. She she's a belcher. Hmm. Yeah, but of course I was going to back out. That wasn't that deep. Yeah, no. but I don't. I don't enjoy that now. Okay, well that's fair. <laughs> I don't know what would be something unusual that I don't like about you. That's what well, I'm saying. I feel like that's hard. I just don't. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I can oh, think of something. Oh, what? I would say I like when you do your skincare. Like, that's cute to me. Okay. I think it's so cute. Like, I mean, I put him on. But, For like, sure. now that he's actually carrying it out and he actually cares. And I like when you switch, like, your beard balm and stuff and it smells good. And, like, okay. I feel like I like how, I mean, it's not unusual because that's, like, a pretty good attribute to have to be a very well manicured man. But I like that you like go get manicures and like you care about like your yeah. your maintenance, you know. Yeah. So I don't know if that's unusual, but that's no, I think it's unusual. But I, I don't think it's unusual once you have a a woman who's uh, led you in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, nah, real talk. I don't know. I mean, it might be some guys out there nowadays, maybe who are more aware or like it's a thing, but. The time I come from, nah, I ain't. Yeah, yeah, nah. Okay, and, and we're not even old, but I just feel like it's that's not a thing today, not fifteen years ago. 
Yeah. So no, nah, without the right woman to get you right for sure. So yeah. shout out to you. Oh, I have another one. What? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not unusual. It's just not very typical. Okay. For a guy to love Christmas as much as Cameron does. Okay. Like he literally loves Christmas <laughs> and like the holidays. So I love that. Like that is just so just I love it. It's just so cool. Yeah, I was going. So I would say that. I, I was going to say what when I was right when I guess we both had a epiphany aha moment, um, but it's not something you you're gonna do like you oil up anyway. But I think it's pretty fascinating with your oiled up belly. <laughs> <laughs> now that is funny. <laughs> yeah, like she, she be walking in there like this, belly all shiny. I call myself a buttered biscuit. Yeah, like I? yeah. <laughs> And then if I kiss her stomach, my lips be all greasy. Shiny. Yeah, so. I know. That's yeah, I would say that one. Yeah, for okay. sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it took us a while to get there, but we made it. Okay. <laughs> if you could change one thing about our first date, what would you change? Uh, absolutely Should we nothing. talk about our first date? We should talk a about it. a little bit. Yeah, we can talk about it. We went to go see Hall Pass. Horrible <laughs> option. Horrible first that date. That came movie. out in 2011. About how to... Cheat was that fe- February two thousand no March of two thousand eleven with their wife's like permission. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. So that was our first date movie. Um, but I, then- but that's why I wouldn't change nothing about it because I think <laughs> that the start was tough, but it didn't put us in an awkward position. I feel like what do you mean the start was tough? No, tough and like that was hard. Like that, like oh, like this girl is dope. Like she cool. Like we went to go see this movie that neither of us knew anything about, especially like. We probably never really seen a movie like that yeah. um, outside of being in the house with our parents, maybe. But um, I definitely had not. But um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like after seeing the movie, like you weren't tripping. You didn't have all these dumb questions, <laughs> even though you've had some dumb questions in our uh, journey. <laughs> but no, nah, for real, you no, nah, I wouldn't change nothing about it. Really? Not one thing? No. You said I was I was getting a large popcorn and no, that was that was large one large. The- Slurpee. No, that was one of the next dates. I was actually couldn't prepared. afford. I was actually prepared for the first date. <laughs> it was when we kept going on dates. The thing is, I had never really been going on dates, so I didn't know how this all worked. Yeah. So then, you know, Miss, um, I don't even know what to call you, Miss. High expectations. High, no, high, um, not high expectations. You just very, um, I don't. What's the word? Mm-hmm. Not needy, not expectations. Uh, I just like what I like. Yeah, miss. Yeah, that. Miss M- that. <laughs> miss. I like what I like. But uh, yeah, it's like when I go out to the movies with my, my parents, dad. Yeah, I get what I uh, a large popcorn and icy. <laughs> so <laughs> come with it. Yeah, and I, and I also only went with my. I'm not getting no kitty popcorn just because you got a kitty budget. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's cr- That's crazy. I would've, we wouldn't be here if I said that to him. Yeah, no, nah, you would have been. <laughs> I would have been still. You would have been stuck at the, uh, at the movie theater. Oh my gosh. Um, nah, yeah, I wouldn't change nothing. But that was definitely later on when you started. I feel like you were pretty modest the first date, for sure. Yeah, I mean, you kind of have to be. Yeah, Real but after that, ladies. But after that, it was over. <laughs> it got worse and worse and worse. Progressively yeah. worse. Um, and then we went to my house, and then we like watched Love and Basketball. Yeah, and he was all smooching all up on me. <laughs> ah, um, would I change anything? No. Not really. It was a very like simple standard even, first date. I will say this. And even, uh, I was going to say like Cameron picked me up, which was the, that was like, yes, <laughs> yes, we are aligned in that way because, well, maybe the thing you would say you changed is how far oh, I lived. You just made me think about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you he said, drove all when the you way said, out. I, I wasn't thinking about being, you know, picking you up, but bro, Aaron lived... Like 35, 40 45 minutes. minutes Babe, from it was not 45. And it really minutes. was like an hour because that was my first time driving that far <clears throat> ever. Like I was 17. I literally stayed in my general area of, you know, Metro, Metro Detroit. Yeah. Um, 
And like here in Michigan, like everything is like mileage. So I live on seven mile. The furthest I had been was 14 miles. She lived on 22 miles. 21. 22. <laughs> Her street is literally, you come out, it's 22. <laughs> like, so yeah, imagine that. Um, but yeah, I would. that's the one thing I would change. Y'all could have stayed down the street from but my grandparents. But the thing is, is that the reason why I wouldn't change that is because it let me know how much you wanted to see me. So like, no, nah, I didn't want to see you that bad the first day. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the impression it gave, even yeah. though you weren't, you I were like, kind of blindsided. Yeah, I was like, she, she, I was like, I'm not telling this man where I live. Shoot, I'm gonna let him figure it out on MapQuest. <laughs> oh I yeah, and I address. had to print out the, uh, I had to print out the um the directions because like GPS on your phone really was wasn't like thing. you had to have the GPS navigation system that like was some like, some phones that had it I think Best but it Buy wasn't really or like Radio Shack it really wasn't hitting yet remember and Radio I had Shack? Metro PCS remember Radio Shack or AT and um yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting the minute phone <sighs> yeah but, yeah so no nah, for sure that I, but I mean. I complained about that for the next yes for the next long. how many years? Yeah. Ugh. But I mean, you you the, I feel like that's why I said I wouldn't change anything about the first date because um, I feel like you overall kept me coming back. So yeah, true. So I don't think I would change anything. Yeah, I'm just glad he was able to drive and pick me up and <laughs> and she <hey>. uh, <laughs> and she milked my uh, funds. <laughs> Quickly. I did. Still do. Okay. <laughs> wow. If we swapped bodies for a day and you were me, what would you do? What? <laughs> I knew you were going to hate this question. Yeah. Like, <laughs> if if it was like Freaky Friday type stuff and we switched places. This is a very you question that you know I... <sighs> what would you do? Like, how would you spend the day being me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a... <laughs> Fun fact, I guess that no one knows about Aaron. Maybe, maybe is her this, mom. Maybe this is an unusual yeah. thing you love about. No, me. I don't love this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do not love this. Aaron has a very weird way of. Uh, I don't even consider these hypotheticals. I, I kind of think she's insane. Um, she has these, these, I don't know, thought these thought provoking, left field ideas that are just. Who thinks about that? It keeps my creative juices flowing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. I, you have to answer. I, I I I don't know. I don't desire Babe, to ever yes, be in a woman's do. body. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not just a woman's body. It's us switching places for a day. Like, I, not you dressing as me or anything like that. Like, we're literally like... Baby, each other. You, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. I, like, come on now. <sighs> well, what's yours? I don't know. So, what you ask a crazy <laughs> question? <laughs> Goodness. <sighs> um. Okay. I'll, let's do this one. What would your dream house look like if we had? If we could build, which we will. If we could build whatever house we wanted in the entire world, mm -hmm. where would the house be, for one? Like what state or what? Wherever in the world. Okay. <clears throat> and then also, um, what would be like the main attributes of the house? Ooh. We have different attributes, but same at the same. You know, some are similar. Um, I'm going to start with the garage. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously? I wouldn't overdo it. But I would have a um, ten car garage. <laughs> you consider that not overdoing it? Yeah, some people have like sixteen, twenty. You know, that is crazy. I mean, uh, love that for you, but <laughs> wow. I would have. Uh, I would have a. I would have a nice garage setup, but it wouldn't just be like a garage where I'm storing cars. Like I wanna. I want like a gymnasium all attached to it, like a kind of like. You don't have. I don't have to worry about the rest of the a house. Gymnasium, as in like a so like a like a basketball court type gymnasium, or like a workout at both. home workout. So like how I I guess how I see it is that I have this garage and I have all the things that I like in, within the garage that I can enjoy not only my cars but the things I like to do. So like a golf simulator, workout gym, a, a basketball court, maybe half or full, whatever the case may be. Your dad actually just sent me something where. 
this guy built underground of his driveway. I don't know how much that costs, oh but like goodness. dug under his ba- like went like you have mm-hmm. the basement, then you go lower, mm-hmm. and you and he has like this big window next to the side of his Wait, driveway. Wait, under the basement? No. So if you go into you're your ba- under the garage or under the basement, under the driveway. So oh, his okay. basement, obviously, you know, your basement is in the ground, right? In, mo- in most places, right? He but, went, he, so he had to dig in, into his like under his basement and outwardly out oh, to the driveway. Wow. So like toward, I guess, the street side. Ooh. But there's a window, so you get sunlight that comes in. Oh wow! So like you had this underground court. Oh wow! Yeah, like that was dope. So you know, so I would not that, but oh, okay. something similar. Okay. I mean, I guess if it. If money Needed wasn't to, an object. I would have an underground court. Why not? Okay. Um, but it's probably a good like hideaway too. Low key. Yeah. yeah. If something happened, you just go into the right. court. Yeah. But um yeah, I would, you know, have all the things that I like in the garage, including, you know, I'm talking about a whole thing, like a you gotta got an upper area where I can look down onto the cars, look down maybe to the court simulator. Like it's got a got the vibe. The bar, the it's like your ultimate like Man, cave. man, situation. It's not even a cave no more. It's just like well, kind just, of yeah, under the garage. Well, no, the garage. It's still like you got a surface level. You got a behind. You got an upper level. Like you got oh, a whole okay. situation. So it's just a, it's a whole house basically. Basically, yeah. Gotcha. So then when we get into the house, of course, then like you know, we have the main part. It's just a bedroom. No, <laughs> it's like that one meme. <laughs> it's like when you let a man design the house and it's the whole thing is a garage and then. <laughs> 10 square feet of a bedroom. Um, I think when you enter, because we have, um, well, you have a very large family, but I have a fairly nice size family. But mm-hmm. when you enter, I want to, you know, to have like an atrium that can fit. It, you're not stuffy in there. Yeah. Um, like, so, when we, you know, because we desire to have a, a nice size house so that we can host our families together. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, we'll have that nice living space, like multiple living spaces. Um I gotta put a pool. I don't even want a pool for real, but I guess in the yeah, in I the, have a pool. If anything like anything goes, I want the I want the view, the mm-hmm. the pool, the you know the same the outdoor, thing outdoor like outdoor living the space. outdoor yeah the TV out there, there TVs yeah. like you know the whole situation like the pergolas yeah and the, water the, fountain water, water slide infinity to, all the whole all night. That. yeah all, all that. that whatever I can get all that yeah. Okay. Um, so that's the living going out to the out, outside living mm-hmm. area. Um, not like obviously a good, a great kitchen. Yeah. Um, I think we have a pretty good kitchen now, but like, I, I like the, like the videos that we watch or see sometime on YouTube. I, I like a nice grand kitchen, but I also like the idea of, um, having that chef's pantry Yeah, the chef's where kitchen. you yeah, don't really have so to nice. always mess up your main kitchen. Yeah. That's like, you know, maybe for just. The every three of us cooking. at this point, yeah. But then you know, if you're hosting, if you're hosting, like everything's back there, yeah. and then you can kind of just set up, set the play on the in the regular kitchen, yeah. like you I know, love whatever that. the case that may has be. To, I want that yeah. so bad. So that, that I think that's definitely in our in yeah. house for sure. Yeah. But um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I would say probably a few floors. Yeah, yeah. I'd say two offices. Definitely two offices. Oh my god, I want such a cool playroom for the kids, like. Just I can't. You send me all, all these all, things like, like the, gym, know, the gymnastic type. Like, type. like yeah, people are getting like, creative. They put like stuff all on the walls, like rock, rock climbing, climbing yeah. and like ball pits and that like one day all kinds of stuff. Built the trampoline where the door you open a, up a door and you can jump into the trampoline. Oh yeah, like that was pretty cool. Yeah, like I want a really fun playroom because I want our house to be like the house. Like yeah. all the kids want to be at our house. Yeah. Cause my kids ain't about to be over just anybody house. No. Yeah, not anybody. <laughs> um, so love that. I agree with everything you said. I mean, the garage. I would. Let I mean, you I, have your way with that. Yeah, I mean, I once we get into the basement, like I want that still to be family. Like you got a theater down yeah. here. You got the you got the works in the basement. It's not mm-hmm. man cave. It's like I don't. I think it's easy to have a man cave when you only have a basement. But I, I, I you know, I kind of yeah. want y'all down there. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I think. The basement would be in a in an ideal sense, like where we spend a lot of like time. family time. Yeah. You know, um, I got you got like the maybe arcade like games, games down there. And, like yeah. you got your table for board games. Yep. Like mm-hmm. uh, a the bar, bar like whatever. The whole yeah shebang down there. Really, I just want a house that oh, if we have 
60 people over, everyone's comfortable. Like 60 people, but it don't even feel like 60 people. Yeah, it's just like everyone's comfortable. Everyone's spread out, like has their own place. I think a nice little cocktail lounge or cigar, I mean a cigar little lounge is a nice touch. Cigar lounge. For like a grown and sexy vibe, like date nighty and type thing. Or like if you have have your guys over or whatever. No, well, I I wouldn't, because I wouldn't put that like in that garage space, but I would have that as a section in our home, like in the main area. Where you have a a wine cellar, but also a cigar, mm-hmm. um, a cigar like lounge that a humidifier where you can kind of be. They, those are next, but you know you can keep the yeah. I'd also really like a nice home gym and a sauna and a cold that would be all in, that, in the, the, and, the, the that garage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, just like all the works, like yeah. not just the gym part, but like also recovery stuff yep, that, that we have. But yeah, okay, we're yeah. aligned. And then I would love all the bedrooms to have their own What about our closet? Bathrooms. And yes, our closet. <laughs> I would want... It's funny though, because I don't really have that many clothes, but I feel like I would have more clothes if I was just, I don't know, more comfortable spending more money on myself in that way. I don't know. I just, I don't really buy that many clothes. Clearly today we... Yeah. I know. But... <laughs> Outside of that, um, <laughs> I would love like a nice, big, spacious closet with like the, all the drawers and like lighting on the shelves, so all my purses can have their own spots and just be. It looks like a little boutique, you know. Yeah, like I feel you. it's giving everything has a space. Okay. Not stuff clustered up. A dream home coming soon. Yeah. So, you know. That's that. I the thing about thinking about dream homes though is that I honestly don't want my house to feel too big. Like I want it to still feel like a home. Like homey. Yeah. yeah. I feel like some of the houses that we see that are just like, it looks like you don't insanely do big. In yeah, it's just like you it looks like I don't want to touch nothing. I don't wanna, you know, like yeah. I don't know. I don't like that feeling where the home feels too formal. Like, I want it to feel warm, warm and cozy and, like, people come and they feel like they can just relax and enjoy. I also would love a wood fireplace, like, multiple wood burning fireplaces, not just, like, the gas ones. Yeah, that's, um, that's one of my uh, But, yeah. And then we didn't say where, though. I don't know where. Yeah, it probably It's hard to say. Here. It's, yeah, I, I, I feel like home is home, so... I'm going to stick with yeah. Michigan for now. But I would like a second home and a third home. And yeah, all that. Fourth. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Um, okay. Well, that was fun. Was that all the questions? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I kind of winged the last one because you didn't want to answer if we switched bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I tell you. <laughs> but Boy. yeah, that was all the questions. Um, let us know what you guys would do for the this or that. Free groceries or free clothes for your your entire life. Yeah, what would you do? Yeah. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there today. To, uh, today, while this is out, yesterday will have been Mother's Day. So if you're a mother or if you have a mother, tell them we um, said Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to you. And uh, we hope um, the week goes well for everybody. So, yeah. Yeah, if you rock with me, then you rock with us. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Be easy. <laughs>